Cindy here, and in this training, we are going to go over how to create an email series from scratch for your destination interest form. So in our previous lesson, you want to check out our YouTube channel for the last lesson where we actually created an interest form to collect the lead information for somebody who is interested in, in your destination trip. And now we're going to actually respond to them automatically with an email series. But before we start, let's talk about about what you need in order to get started. The first thing that you're going to need is make sure that you understand who you're going to be writing to. Are you going to be writing to strangers, acquaintances, or people who are already very familiar with your brand? Most cases, when somebody is filling out a destination interest form or you're creating it, it's for the purposes of attracting strangers who aren't very familiar with your brand. So that's really going to guide us on the type of content that we're going to want to capture inside of our email series. So what I'm gonna do now is show you what you should be thinking about when it comes to creating a series. So, so I've created a guide and if you are a part of our community, you will be able to get access to this guide um, inside of the replay. Go ahead and join us at onlinetravelboss.com forward slash members and you'll be able to get access to this guide. Now, your target audience normally for your interest form is going to be strangers. We want our goal specifically to get leads. We want people who are interested in the destination that we're talking about to give us their contact information so that we can communicate with them later, maybe give them a free gift around the destination and ultimately sell them the destination that we are looking at to promote. So what I've done here is I've created three email structures for you to consider. And before you actually start building the email, you want to actually have a plan in place in terms of what content, what email, how many emails you're going to do, what you're going to say in the emails and all of that. So what I've done here is given you some good ideas in terms of content structure that you can think of about when it comes to actually designing your email sequence. The first structure is pretty simple. The first email is going to be a welcome and introduction where you're going to introduce you, your brand, your travel and, um, business, and why this destination is something that they're going to want to be interested in. Usually that first email is going to outline what they can expect over the next couple of days because you want to keep them interested in what you have to say. So you don't want them not to open up your next email. So this welcome email usually sets the stage. In all of these structures or these strategies that I'm going to give you, you're going to want to do the same thing. You're going to want to have a welcome, introduces you as the business owner, introduces your travel agency, and then let them know what they can expect. Now, the first structure is going to be the second email. Typically, you do the second email a day after the first email is received. You can do it a couple of hours later, but typically I do one day wait and then I do the second email. What you can do in the second email is, is that you can highlight some key important factors around the destination. You can do it based on great accommodations or resorts that your people can choose from. You can also do it around activities or a combination of both. This email could be kind of lengthy because what you want to do is give them some samples of different accommodations that they could be thinking about. Now, if I was specializing and my audience were families, the resorts that I would highlight would obviously be family friendly. But let's say I specialize in adventure travel and my peeps were all about zip lining and, you know, uh, doing those, uh, what are they? They're not roller coasters, but they're the little, uh, the, 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 the four wheelers. So they're all about four wheeling. They're all about jumping off cliffs. The activities that I would highlight at that destination would be focused around that. So it's really important to really understand the kind of audience that you're going to be writing to so that you can highlight about the destination that's going to appeal to those, um, types of people. And then the third email, again, typically I wait a day and then the third email could be testimonials or success stories. If you don't have 
testimonials, maybe this is the first time that you've done the destination, then I would substitute this for what you like about the destination. So I would talk about my travels to that particular destination and what I what really stood out for me and my family or friends that went with me on the destination. And then that your fourth email can highlight all about the itinerary, the custom itinerary that your clients will experience when they go. And I would also talk about options, packet, package options. Remember, our goal is not to sell in this series, really to build anticipation and get them excited about the trip ahead that you're going to be launching. I might even in this fourth email, as I'm describing the itinerary, give them a drop date of when they can buy into the trip and let them know that it's coming soon. And then the last email, typically, again, wait a day, the fifth email would be an exclusive travel deal that I would do for the people who opted into this series. So that fifth day, I would drop the actual um, ability for somebody to buy, it would be a strong call to action that would say, listen, deposits are, we are taking deposits now. All you have to do is click the button below and give the deposit. So that would be the structure of option one. Another structure that you could do is welcome and introduction, similar as the first. And then instead of doing destination highlight, highlights, you could do top travel tips for that particular destination. What somebody who is maybe new to that destination, what they can expect and tips that they would need to follow that they would need to be aware of. Then three behind the third email could be a behind the scenes look at you designing the trip, what it's like to plan the trip and considerations that you have or behind the scenes or hidden treasures that a client would have that aren't a part of the typical itinerary. And then the fourth email could also be client stories and experiences on people past tra uh, travelers that you've had that have taken the trip. That could be your your um, email number four. And then the last email would be, a, like I said, another strong call to action that would be really focused on promoting or creating a package, especially for those people who've been along for the ride over the last four emails and let them have the opportunity to buy into this promotion. Then the last structure is similar is, and this is really good for a destination that has maybe multiple areas to go visit. I'll give you a, a case in point. Um, Dubai, that's one example. Main attraction at Dubai is Dubai proper, but then there's the nearby city of Abu Dhabi. So you could talk about the destinations of both Dubai and Abu Dhabi. I'm getting ready to go to Bali at the time of this recording, and there are three major regions in the area, Ubad, Simniak. I can't remember the third region. So you could talk about, in your second email, you talk about the area and the, air, the destinations that are really nice or close to maybe the top pick and then uh, local areas that they may want to visit so that they could have a choice to pick from. And then the other email in your email series could be packing and preparation tips that you could give your traveler. Things that they need to take into consideration. Case in point for Dubai, uh, you know, it's a Muslim country, so people are very concerned about what to wear at a Muslim country. If they're going to visit a mosque, then, you know, what are, what's the appropriate attire at the mosque? So if you've got a country that you're going to or destination that has specific uh, considerations as it relates to attire, then what to pack is really a good idea and what to prepare for and what to expect. And tips around that could be all about what your email number three would be. And then email four could be testimonials and reviews of past clients who either have gone on the destination or just general testimonials and reviews of clients who have experienced working with you and what it's like to work with you. And then the last email, instead of maybe a destination specific, you could offer a special offer and discount and or discount or package 
that's available not only for this destination, but just in general that you're offering for all of the readers of your email. These are three different email series strategies that you can use when you get ready to send an email out. But now you've got to actually build the content. So before you decide on which strategy is the best one for you, listen, you could do all three of them. You literally could do. And as I have mentioned in previous trainings, that when we promote a destination, we do at minimum four promotion cycles. So literally what you could do is you could use each of these structures as a part of each promotion cycle and create a series for each promotion cycle where you write these five emails and you're promoting the trip as the call to action in each of these series. You could do, um, you could enter somebody into a 15 day series. You could have the first email series go out. You could wait a couple of days, maybe a couple of weeks, then you start the series, the email series two, then wait a couple of days, maybe a week, and then start email series three. All of those escalating to the announcement or the release of your destination. Whatever you decide, the point is, is to start with the plan and make sure that you have it clearly defined so that when you get to set up that it's just easy for you to set up everything and go. Now, which structure is best for you? My recommendation is test them all. Try them all, see how it flows in terms of you writing it, what kind of information that you can get. But as you know, my friendly friend at ChatGPT is here to help dust off any um, writer's block that you may have in terms of writing it. And so here's some things that you can do to consider when writing your emails. Now, I've created a prompt for you all that will address prompt structure one and create the email series. All you have to do is put in the destination and your travel niche. So let's take a look at how this will work for you. So you'll just copy this prompt and you'll open up ChatGPT or your AI of choice and you'll copy, you'll paste the prompt and then what you're going to want to do is put your destination. I'm just going to put Bali here and then I'm going to put my travel niche as Gen Xers because I just found out that I'm a Gen X person. Gen X who is interested, interested in relaxation and wellness activities such as spa, spa related activities. All right, and then once you put in those two things with this prompt, it's gonna generate for you five emails according to structure one. And what you get to do is you can, I would say that you should read the prompts, read the results and make sure that the results match your tone, that they represent the information that you want to relay. Maybe you want more information or less information. You want a different tone. And in that case, you would just edit the prompt accordingly to get to the information that you want. But what this does do for you is it actually creates a starting point for you to create your email series. So now you've got five emails that are here. Now, the great thing that you can also do with this prompt is if you have a, let's say, landing page already defined with your promotion the information to buy into your trip, you can include that in this last part where it says um, email representing exclusive deals and discounts for trips to destination. And then you could say utilizing, you know, point them to sales page equal to whatever the URL is for that. So this is a really great way for you to start writing the actual email for your series. Now, if you want to do structure two or three, you'll do something very similar and you can just use this prompt and you can edit the information that's going to be included in each of the emails by modifying this prompt. Additionally, that you can use ChatGPT 
to do is to help you to come up with ideas. So let's say you are specializing in adventure travel. You can ask ChatGPT to help you come up with a structure that is specific to your audience and outlines what your audience is accustomed to seeing or want to know. So if you know that, providing that in the prompt to ChatGPT will create a very customized and tailored email email um, series that's tailored to what your client care about and what they want to read. You can also use ChatGPT to create an engaging email. So one of the things that I love to do is when I want, let's say a client, let's say I do an itinerary and I want a client to reply back to my email. When I'm writing the email, I'll ask ChatGPT, give me a compelling question that will get the user to reply back. And that would be a paragraph or a statement that I would put at the end of the email. So you can help ChatGPT to help you with the right types of questions to get engagement. And then you can customize the content to make sure that it's your right voice. Another great thing ChatGPT can do as well is help you write the social media posts that go along with your particular destination. So if I'm promoting a destination interest form, I'm going to do an email series. I'm also going to do a series of email, uh, social media posts that get people to complete the form, the interest form, so they can get on my email list. So you can have ChatGPT help you write a series of social media posts, even real idea, ideas to help get people traffic to your actual form so that they can get on your email list. Listen, I hope that this has been helpful. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to leave a comment and we'll get back to you soon. If you're not a Travel Pro Suite member, simply go to onlinetravelboss.com forward slash TPS. And if you are already a member and you'd like to join our affiliate program, you'll be able to resell Travel Pro Suite and make 30% monthly recurring income. I look forward to working with you. Thank you so much for joining me today and I'll see you tomorrow, same time, same place. The time is now for you to simplify how you operate your travel business. Bye for now. If you have any questions and you'd like to join us for open office hours, we're starting right now. Go to sundaygardener.com.